What's up, nerds? Welcome back to another episode of the All Things Nerd Podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Chad. And I'm Jake. This week, we're going to be diving into Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, episode three. We're also going to talk a little bit about Godzilla versus Kong, and quite honestly, the disappointment that that was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> This week we are sponsored by Crybaby Craig's Hot Sauce. It's a pickled habanero. Uh, pretty good hot sauce. Goes on everything except for Chinese food, do I've learned the hard way. <laughs> We're also sponsored by Ray's Energy Drinks. Uh, really awesome energy drinks and pre-workout and supplemental mixes uh, that have zero sugar, uh, zero carbs, zero calories, and zero crash. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. This is the All Things Nerd Podcast. Nerd. All right, uh, welcome back to another episode of, uh, the All Things Nerd Podcast, everybody. Uh, Yeah. Uh, I apologize in advance if I sound funny. I am uh, battling a sinus infection, it seems, uh, that I somehow got between Minnesota and Ohio. Uh, it sucks. More like, so- more like somebody got between your lips and your throat, but, you know, whatever. Well, anything to stop a cough, man. Uh, <laughs> so, also, this, uh, this weekend, uh, because we record on Sundays, as you guys know, uh, this weekend is, uh, it's kind of a, a big religious holiday, it's, if not confusing. Uh, it's Easter this weekend. So, uh, Jake, uh, you do anything, uh, special for, I don't, for I don't really, I don't really celebrate Easter. I don't really no. ce- celebrate Ishtar. No. So you're, <laughs> you don't celebrate the, the divine zombie. By hunting for mm. discolored mm. and dismembered carcasses of a farm animal that was stolen and hidden by a different farm animal, some like hybrid <laughs> animal. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> so, I, if you if you're I'm not into this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not pagan or anything like that. But uh, you know, Easter is a pagan holiday, and I know that. It, well, before it was a Christian holiday. They stole it. Just yeah, like it was. Christmas uh, and, I think it was like a pagan Everything. was in the woods and she saw a bird that was freezing to death and then she, um, t- in order to save its life, she turned it into a hare bunny slash bunny. Uh, but because it was a bird at heart, it uh, was still able to lay eggs. And that's how you get the bunnies laying eggs thing. Um, yeah. That is the weirdest shit ever, man. I mean, it's no weirder than a guy fucking getting tortured and murdered for, like, a million days on a cross and then being buried alive and then waking back up and being like, hey, guys, what's up? Yeah, there you go. (laughs) (laughs) You're not wrong. (laughs) Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Mom. Uh, My mom's so Christian, too. I feel bad. Both my parents are. Uh, There's probably something out there. I don't know. Um... I'm not yeah, that's a different, and that's, that's not a what different this podcast, podcast is about. So that's a different podcast. <laughs> Coming next week, you guys, the all yeah. things not so Christian podcast. <laughs> 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 no, God. but in all seriousness, uh, this week uh, or this past week since our last episode, Godzilla vs Kong came out. Yeah, and good God, Zilla, what a fucking cluster i'm okay all right let's let's uh let's just be as honest as we possibly can about it that i've worded that so weird yeah uh <laughs> let's be as honest as possibly can about it um <laughs> uh, the movie let's itself be honest let's be honest the movie itself visually amazing i, I visually it was super cool to watch it would have been even better in theaters. I would have enjoyed it a heck of a lot more. Oh, absolutely. It looked but, incredible. But they just crushed this, like, four-hour movie, which should have been a four-hour movie. I mean, they they justice leagued it. 
That's what they did. They took like this oh, good, long yeah. movie and just crushed it into two hours, and it just was like so rushed. Uh, I wasn't feeling it, unfortunately, because I'm a huge. The th- three prior movies to this one, I was a pretty big fan of, and this one just dropped <coughs> the ball super hard. That's that's exactly how I feel about it. Oh, you see that random beard twirl? Oh, good God. Uh, no, uh, I <laughs> was a huge fan. I was so excited about this film, too. Likewise. Like, it looked... I mean, like you said, visually, the movie was phenomenal. It looked stunning. But it did not make sense. Yeah. You Just, could... You could, this is like a movie that you could probably like smoke some weed and then just go veg out to, you know? Oh, and easily. You're like, holy shit, that's so cool. And you'd probably be like, that's a badass movie. But if you're like a fan and you watch it, this is a big letdown. Yeah, they they crammed in three storylines. Two Some of which didn't even make one sense. One of them didn't need to be in it at all. Yeah, no. Like, I get it. You, you need to have some sort of, like, human storyline going on. But, r- really? Yeah. Like, I have nothing against Millie Bobby Brown. I have nothing against, like, the actors that were actually in the film. Especially, like, Alexander Skarsgård. The kid that played Russell in Deadpool 2. Which was yeah. a waste of a character in this film. He was, like, the comic relief... You know? But he wasn't funny. No. He was only there because he stole his brother's van. Yeah. And he was supposed to be funny, and they gave him terrible writing. Yeah. But also, bad. like, this movie is only supposed to take place three years after Godzilla, oh, yeah. King of the Monsters. Yeah, we talked about this. Yeah. And there's a whole new corporation that's, like, international... They've been developing... They're living in 2050. Like, 3031. <laughs> yeah. Like, they've got Ugh. hovercrafts that can navigate through the let's, core of let's the Earth. Let's be real. Let's be real. They're spaceships. Yeah. That's a spaceship. It has anti-gravity mechanisms so that when they hit the core of the Earth and the polarity switches, they Spo- don't spo- die. Spoiler Spoiler alert. For anybody who hasn't watched the movie yeah. and is interested in watching the movie, we're going to ruin a bunch of shit for Yeah, you, so. we are. Because this but, is some bonus. But don't, don't feel bad about it because the movie wasn't good. It looked great. Guys. The, mon- the, scene, the monster the fight, fights were incredible. They were cool. Yeah. Very, very uh, Superman versus Zod kind of destruction. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of been the MO for all the the films. Like, you know, collateral damage doesn't really matter because, you know, they're these titans. Yeah, fuck people. (coughs) Excuse me. Jesus, get that cold under wraps, bro. We're on a podcast. I I have... We're we're trying to do a podcast here. Dude, do you have any idea how much Tylenol, severe cold and flu, Mucinex, Dayquil, and NyQuil I've taken in the past... 72 hours, it could kill a horse. Hey. I forgot to shut the blinds and my dog is growling at somebody. <laughs> it's okay, my dog is going crazy because I locked her in the room with me. Ro, Ro, come here. No. <laughs> you can leave that in. I don't care. Yeah. Ro, no, I'm here. not going to cut it because this is way easier. <laughs> you stay in here with me. Come on. Yeah. Sit down. All right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's all good, man. Um, yeah, like, this this movie had such a weird sci-fi element to it that made yeah. zero sense. Zero. Because there was no build-up to it. It was, all of a sudden it came from, there was, you know, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the last film that yeah. came out, was very much grounded in today's reality. Yeah. With the advent of Godzilla and these monsters. But technology was, for the most part, normal, up to par with what was going yeah. on. This movie now, is only sudden, supposed to take place three years later. There are now under-ocean, transcontinental, like, maglifts that transport, you know, 
goods and stuff from, you know, harbor to harbor from. That move they like have, fast, faster than airplanes. Yeah, they're well. I mean, I mean most they, airplanes they are show the like speed on the thing six, while they're six hundred miles an hour things. when they're in the air. It's like but a I mean, bullet train. It's yeah. like a bullet train, but underground. Yeah, but under the ocean, it goes from Pensacola, yeah. Florida, to Hong Kong, in like. Uh, like an hour or two. Yeah. It made it seem like it took several hours because, I mean, like, w- they fell asleep, like, out of yeah. boredom. But, like, besides the point, like, that alone, just to build those tunnels would take more than three years. Oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, this company did not exist in any of the previous films. So, how are they this well connected? Yeah, it's, and it's wild. It just blows my mind that, like, if they would have built up these companies, like this other side company, through the last film or anything like that, like, it would have made more sense. And then, yeah, and then in addition to that, not only did they build all these fucking crazy tunnels, but what else did they build? Well, Mechazilla. Mechagodzilla. Yeah. Which is just like, no. And no. also the fact that... Which we knew, we knew, go, I mean, we talked about it in our past episodes, that we yeah. knew that Mechagodzilla was going to be the big bad in this. And I, frankly, at the time, was excited about it because I was like, oh, this is going to be cool. Until I saw the <laughs> runtime, until I saw the runtime of the movie, which was only like two hours, and I was, was like, you less can't. less than two hours. Yeah, you can't do all that in that amount of time. That's not possible. And sure enough, when we watched it, it was just like, bam, 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 it's over. And it was like, oh, well, that was, that was dumb. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And on top of that, so, of course, obviously, spoilers, guys, if you haven't caught on yet, um, we've already ruined so much of this for you. Um, But... (laughs) how Mechazilla is originally controlled was because King Ghidorah, the three-headed dragon from Godzilla, yeah. uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the three-headed dragon. The heads communicated with each other. Via telepathy. Yeah. So they literally just took the skull of one of King Ghidorah's heads. Which was the end credit scene of the last movie. Yeah, but... You yeah. Th- they made it seem like they were going to harvest it for, like, organs and tissue and stuff like that instead of just taking its skull. Yeah. I don't... In, like any, make in any other nerd <laughs> science fiction realm anything that uses telepathy, it is it would be the a brain. brain function. It's not a yeah, fucking like skull. Br- it is not just take, yeah. bone. They would have taken brain matter or something. Yeah, they literally that. just, like, connected tubes and hoses to the fucking skull... And then put a sick ass gamer chair and desk in the middle of the skull so that like some dude could sit there and oh, yeah, they just like I'm stuck playing the hose Tokyo up his Drift. Ass. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Like it was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> like cruising California USA two. <laughs> yeah, coming soon yeah, to your bad. nearest arcade. Like he literally just sat bad. in a chair, and it was just so dumb. Yeah, and then basically Mecha gods here. Hold, the I mean, thing he is kicked that ass, we, though. We, that was what was fun. We got, we got, well, hold on, we got a little ahead of ourselves here because there's a point in this movie that I wanted to address that bothered the shit out of me, and that was that when, and again, spoiler alert, get out of here if you don't want to hear it. One, two, three. All right, fuck you. Uh, Why you're still here at this point if we're <laughs> yeah. ruining shit. They, when they, the hollow earth theory is the idea that the Titans came from the middle of the, our, our earth. Yeah. And so these spaceships that they make, they make to go into the hollow earth and blah, 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 blah. And anyway, so when they go in there, they take Kong there. They're, that was the whole idea of the movie was we got to bring Kong because he'll get us, he'll lead us to where we need to go through this fucking weird ass like black hole in the middle of the universe. Yeah. And they go through it. Fast forward like 15 <coughs> minutes or so, uh, Kong finds like where he's from, his home, and it's like a temple. It's not like a fucking cave where a monkey would be or something like that. 
it's a temple and it's like not just like a temple like with fucking weird like wooden doors it's like a big ass monument there's like sculptures carved of monkeys yeah. there's like pil- pillars and it's like these come on like I'm not trying to be mean but in they have not shown that kind of intelligence in these movies that these gorillas, as Kong and his parents before him and whatever, are intelligent enough to sculpt artwork. Right, yeah. It was just like, what? And if they didn't build it, who the fuck built it? There's no, like, tribes or anything there of people or right, aliens. it's all or primitive. Like yeah, it was just dumb. So dumb. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted. I really, really wanted to like this movie last week when we were talking about this, but I it was too. such a fucking letdown. Also, just this is a completely random. This is like a two-second <clears throat> moment from the entire film, and it just pissed me off. Was when the like the they I think they called them like heaves, like the Hollow Earth aerial vehicle. Yeah, it was called the heave. yeah the the fucking spaceship. Yeah, the spaceship thing. Yeah. That's meant to like navigate through the core of the earth. Yeah. They like instead of it just being like, you know, a tunnel that goes to the middle of the earth, yeah. they like hit a wormhole. And it looked like they were jumping into light speed in the Star Wars universe, yeah. like the, yeah. the stretchy lights. And I was like, yeah. I'm done. I think that was but when I how, gave up. Yeah, but then what is the point of it being like a hollow earth? Because then it's like you're just jumping into a completely different like universe. Yeah, well, and then yeah. later in the film, Godzilla literally just like, yeah, drills breathes, a hole with his breath to yeah, the center, breathes of the fire fucking, down just to like the the middle that, of the earth, and that's how Kong fucking goes up and ugh, yeah, because they were in Antarctica and yet they like emerge in Hong Kong. Another another funny part about this. I'm sorry, we are just shitting on this movie, but whatever. It looks uh, great. If you don't care about the story, watch it. The, the but other it part does about not the, deserve to be a part of the canon of everything else. The other part about it that was uh, <clears throat> Alexander Skarsgård's part. Uh, he knew nothing about these heaves or whatever, the spaceships or whatever. Yeah. Until they like were like, hey, you know, we have these things that can get there. But then in the movie, he's like flying them. Like he knows like how to work them yeah. like, out of nowhere. And it's like, what? You're a pilot now all of a sudden? And you can just function these fucking crazy ass like scientific like yeah i i just fuck fucking come come on guys yeah. you could have done better you could have done better i was so stoked about this movie and you guys just pissed if they, me off with if it. they would have just taken the time and split this into two movies two movies that's what i've been saying yeah <clears throat> like godzilla and kong fight it out you know a little For bit like for like 10 minutes maybe and then get to the point you know build a little bit more time uh explaining like this other company it's called apex yeah because they're trying to build the apex predator Ooh. yeah Hu- humans the whole basis is <laughs> i love it the whole basis is that uh the humans realize that these fucking uh, titans are like the most powerful things in the world so they're like, that's not right. We should be the most powerful things in the world. So they make Mecha Godzilla, which is just a, a fucking a, an amazing. It's a, an amazing character. Had it been done right, yeah. But they, they just it. fucking rushed it, and it just murdered this movie. It was terrible. And it goes rogue because like the dude sitting in the chair controlling it gets. Fried. Electrocuted. So then the thing so gets then a mind it of its own. Sentient. Yeah. yeah like also it it's like, oh, wait, I am, therefore I can do. Well, you know, do you know what pissed me off the most about it is that the fucking... It's supposed to be this, like, super high-tech, like, computer system or whatever. And the way that they disable this thing is by fucking... Pouring whiskey on it? S- s- pouring a flask of whiskey over the computer board and they were like, all right, we did it. We won. And then Godzilla and Kong beat the shit out of this like lifeless corpse. It's the dumbest fucking, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm getting heated. Okay. Well, <laughs> guys, it was bad. Watch <clears throat> it for the visuals. I'll tell you this. If you want to go into it intellectually, don't smoke some weed, eat a brownie, whatever it's going to be. 
watch I it. I will probably will watch it. it again, um, just because it looks stunning. But yeah. I'm not going to expect anything story. It like there's. That's that's a good way to put it. If I had went into it knowing it was going to be garbage, I would have probably enjoyed it a lot more. So now that you guys are aware, you might like it a little bit and be like, like these guys are crazy. And but, not not to talk shit about like the whole Fast and Furious franchise, but everyone knows that it's it's a family. Oh, family! I don't have friends. I have, I have, have family. Family. <laughs> One well, Corona. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Everyone knows that these movies now are, it's big action, a couple heartfelt moments, and big stunts, visually stunning. But, like, the story, how did they get here, makes no sense. Like, If if, if they had, the movie is called Godzilla vs. Kong. If they had taken two hours to just make the movie about Godzilla vs. Kong, and then maybe put, like, an Easter egg or end credit scene for Mechazilla at the end of this movie and then done one more movie after this one, they could have done this way better. But cramming all of that into less than two hours was just a huge mistake. Yeah. It was literally Michael Well, Bay, what do we know? Michael because Bay they're killing it in the box office right now. So. Well, it's because everyone was so excited about it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Like, but this, this is a Michael Bay film. It's yeah. big effects, explosions. Story is subpar, but explosions. visually it looks great. Somebody somebody told me that, uh, that, and actually he listens to this podcast, so I'm gonna name drop him. His name is Caleb Evans. He's a friend of mine from work, and he texted me that um, Michael Bay is doing the Blade movies for Marvel, and I was like, oh sweet, so there's gonna be a lot of explosions. Like, <laughs> wow, I don't know. That makes me upset. A little bit, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I don't know if at I've least Marvel. Mike- at least Marvel has a strong oversight. Yeah, and I don't know if I've ever seen a. Oh yeah, I have. Bad Boys is Michael Bay. Never mind. I was gonna say I. I don't know if I've ever seen a rated R Michael Bay movie, but yeah, Bad Boys. I like the Bad Boys oh, franchise, yeah. so I think yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm slightly on board now. Sorry, yeah, Caleb. as long as he's not the one writing the story, or like has yeah. no, because you like. So when he throws the thing at the vampire, like it's gonna blow up, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like no. You don't need an explosion over there. Yeah. Just we'll write the story. You film it, okay? Yeah. yeah. So guys, that was uh, Godzilla vs Kong. Um, yep. Sorry, sorry <coughs> if you're excited about it. Hope we didn't ruin it for you. Go watch it still and give us your own opinion on yeah. it. Yeah. If please. you think we're full of shit, just tell us. Because we're not, but, you know, yeah. we'll tell you you're wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but now, with that being said, uh, we do have... Uh, we do need to talk about our one of our sponsors this week before we get into our next segment, uh, which is uh, Crybaby Craig's. So if you guys just hang tight for a minute, you'll uh, hear some good stuff about Crybaby Craig's. Hey, you nerds. Do you love spice? Supporting small businesses? What about enhancing the flavor of your favorite foods? If you said yes to any of those, our good friends over at Crybaby Craig's have the perfect solution for you. Crybaby Craig's is a pickled habanero and garlic hot sauce that goes perfectly with your favorite foods, adding the perfect amount of spice and enhancing the flavor of everything it touches. Started in Minneapolis by Craig back in 2012, Crybaby Craig's has become a Minneapolis and Minnesota staple in the sauce world. So head over to crybabycraigs.com and order yours today. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Episode 3, uh, which dropped on Friday. Uh, pretty awesome episode. This was the longest episode we've had so far, and it is also our halfway point in the series because there is only six episodes for this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but this one was really fucking cool. There's a lot of cool shit that happened here, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of banter about this. But uh, go ahead, Chad. Tell, dude, what do you think? So good. You also get to see. <clears throat> well, first off, you get to see Bucky throughout the entire episode being a badass. Badass. 
Well, for, well, also, and so at the end of the last episode, uh, episode two, the plan was to go visit Zemo. Uh, uh, Zemo. I almost called him Ben Zeno, which is like a rapper, and I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> Zemo, who was the bad guy in uh, Civil, the Civil War movie. So yeah. the guys go to, the gang goes to visit this guy, and it uh, gets a little weird. Yeah, and so on top of Bucky being a badass throughout the entire episode, you actually get to see how good he is at, like, strategy because they break Zemo out of prison. (laughs) But the way that they do it is so casual and just meticulously planned that the way that Bucky describes it when he's telling Sam, like, Huh. So, like, can I tell you a hypothetical? Let me tell yeah. you a hypothetical. That's what I was going to say. Is like, the scene is like Bucky telling Sam a hypothetical situation of how they could break Zemo out of prison. <laughs> and then I'll let you continue but they, where you're going that's, with that. This is actually what Bucky did. Yeah. Um, but it so they show you like flashbacks of what's... Yeah, and it's like a step-by-step of like how the prison is operated, like the ratio of guards to to uh inmates everything and it shows like as bucky's leaving like he drops a note for a random inmate that basically sparks a fight because then that's supposed to get so many guards to go after him and then because of that then more fights break out which initiates lockdowns it's just insane and basically sam's like we are not doing that and then all of a sudden, yeah. enter, enters well, And he Zemo. even says something. He's, he's like, no. He's like, you're being really casual about this. I don't like that you're being so casual about this. <clears throat> and then Zemo shows up. And Sam's like, you're going back to jail. So you realize that everything that Bucky was explaining to Sam as a hypothetical. <laughs> Is what actually, actually happened. actually fucking did. did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. But what was really cool is they actually, they retconned Zemo a little bit. They, because in the comics he's known as Baron Zemo. Baron Von, Baron Von Baron Zemo. Baron Von Zemo. So now it's Baron Helmet Zemo. Yeah. Which is fine. But the, the Baron aspect of it basically just means that he's rich. Yeah, he's kind of like a, a duke. What's your superpower? I'm rich. Rich. <laughs> um, but so they kind of wreck on that um, you know they show that he's rich and it's I was seen online that some people were like well then why was he in the military and it's like well Prince William or Prince yeah. Harry one of them was a helicopter pilot for the Royal Air Force like it's not uncommon for highborns to fight in the military Yeah, and I thought that that was cool um they kind of wreck on that, you know, so that he can now have the comic book accurate name. Yeah. Uh, and we see him when they're, they literally like go into a garage full of like classic cars and all this stuff. And Sam's like, what? So the first thing you're going to do out of prison is steal a car. And he's like, no, Sam, I own these. Yeah. He's like, I'm a collector. And he's like, what? But you see him grab the purple mask. Yeah, which is awesome, because so com- comic accurate, yeah. Yeah. He even wears it at some point in the episode. But yeah, but he also very has, long. like, the fur coat with, like, the yeah, collar the f- pop. He's just a fucking fashion icon he's all of a sudden. He's kind of a pimp. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's, like, him- fucking dancing it up <clears throat> in the club at some point, <laughs> yeah, too. Like- <laughs> rolling the dice. <laughs> I think he's doing the dice roll too much. That's really all he's got, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love Knocked Up. Um, but, no, you even sent me that video of uh, them walking through, like, different oh parts God. of the episode to Gangster's Paradise, and it fits so Oh, perfectly. my God. I saw one today that was even better. It, I How can it get it better you. than that? Because they, they, do, they do it for, like, ten different songs. And oh, okay. they, it's on it, and they're like, pick one, pick your favorite. And it was like, that one, and, like, Dr. Dre... And like all these other ones, so I can't imagine slide. it being better than Gangster's Paradise. 
Gangsters Paradise was my favorite one, though. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you. Yeah. Can- the slow, there's, there's a reason like a that slow... that song won a Grammy in 1995. Yeah. Okay, like mm. there's there's a part in the episode where they're walking through like a club in slow motion. Fucking Zemo's got like a fur coat on. You got Buck as the Winter Soldier. I mean, he's wearing his leather jacket. He's got his <coughs> metal arm, and then you got Sam's Sam. wearing like a pimp suit. Fucking like... a pimp suit. It's so funny, oh. but it's in slow motion, and it is probably the best scene in the yeah, whole movie. Yeah, they got a little bit of swagger movie. going. Uh, episode, oh yeah. It's great. Uh, but yeah, this is a super fun episode. Uh, we get a reintroduction to... Um, holy shit, Sharon Carter. Yeah, we see Sharon Carter. And yep. she's not doing too bad for herself. She's a fucking badass. Yeah. That fucking, like, so container she, scene? So she saves yeah. the crew, you know, yeah. the, the team... The, the Bucky and Sam brigade yeah. with special guest appearance, Baron Zemo. Um, <laughs> so she saves them, basically. Um, as they're trying to get information, because the entire reason why they broke out Zemo was to get information about who's making the new Super Soldier Super Serum. Super Soldier Serum, yeah. Um, because if you haven't been watching the series so far... There are people now who also have superpowers. Uh, There's at least eight. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. So they want to know who's making it now because the person who originally made it, which was Stanley Tucci, uh, back in whatever year that was, that like Captain America, the first Captain America 45. movie was, yeah, is dead. So somebody else is making the serum now. Uh, and they want to know who, so they break him out of prison, blah, 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 fast forward, Sharon Carter. Yeah, uh, so they're they're meeting with, like, these gangsters, more or less. Um, they're in a, a city called Madripoor, which is a, a fictional city in Indonesia. Indonesia. <laughs> Indonesia. <Stop. laughs> I'm so congested that... It naturally came out as Indonesia. You do sound time. like shit. You do. I'm sorry, guys. I will do better next time. Ah, uh, yeah. Pour that shit. I just gotta refresh it a little bit. I feel bit like here. I gotta do mine on camera also. I pretend like you hand it to me. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> That might have been the nerdiest thing we've done on this show. Uh, the lamest, probably. <laughs> I don't know about nerdiest. Um, but so they're, you know, they're trying to get information. Uh, Bucky basically has to play the role of the Winter Soldier, which um, is badass. And we get to see him like snap into it. I mean, he doesn't like lose control of his mind, but he's he, pretending. But he fucking just... His instincts just, definitely take over. Yeah, he beats the shit out of... He's no longer Bucky <laughs> with long hair and a machine gun. He was definitely fucking Winter Soldier. Full Winter yeah. Soldier. That was awesome. And even to the point where, like, Sam grabs his arm at one point. And it's and like, stop. Like, Are yeah. you good? Yeah. Like... Yeah, because um, he beat the shit out of, like, ten people in, like, ten seconds. Yeah, and was, like, choking the life out of someone else. <laughs> yeah. Uh... But so also, sorry, I just have to say this because it is a cool part that happened and we didn't mention it. Uh, when they first meet up with Zemo, Z- immediately Zemo starts reciting the book to oh, try to take yeah. over Bucky, and Bucky is like, "That's not me anymore," and he goes, "Well, it was worth a shot." So, but yeah, which was kind of close to what we predicted. Yeah, I didn't. I was hoping that Bucky would just like <clears throat> punch him out. Uh, when he started saying the words, but yeah. or recite like his uh, rule number three from his therapy, like my name is yeah. James Buchanan Barnes. I'm yeah, that would have been soldier. awesome. I would have liked that. That would have been cool. But I mean, he did at least be like, "That's not me anymore." Yeah. And Zemo was like, "Meh." I just yeah. wanted to see how the old words affected you. Yeah. Um, but so basically, they they meet up with Sharon. Uh, Sharon is basically like a, an art dealer for shady well, she, people. 
Sharon has basically been as where the Avengers <coughs> were praised by everybody after what happened. Sharon was not. She was turned into a fugitive. Uh, well, I mean, because she turned after- into a fugitive with like Cap and Falcon. Yeah. Um, after Civil War, but but then all the Avengers after- got pardoned after Endgame. Yes, but she did not. And she did not. So she can't go home. She can't talk to her family. She's real butt hurt about it. Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, she's living yeah. a high life. Yeah. She's yeah. She really she's is rich yeah, as pretty, shit. Yeah. So, but yeah, we get to see her and they meet up. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take your moments, but I just thought that was relevant. Oh no, you're good. And um, basically, she's helping uh, Bucky and Sam and Zemo find this scientist. Uh, it's a lead that they got from one of the other gangsters. Uh, in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, from one of the other gangsters earlier in the episode as to who's making the new super soldier serum. Uh, so she's hosting like a, a high society party for like dealing art to high class criminals, basically. Yeah. Um, and she's like, I'll look into it and you know by the end of the party she's like okay I I have a lead let's go they go find this dude he's basically I mean he has like a makeshift like shipping container lab that he's working at it's, it's kind of it's like a little castle he's got built in there yeah you go through one and then it leads into another container stacked on top of another container it's kind of cool yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, and basically, they interrogate him. Whatever. Well, you know what we're doing right now? We're, we're kind of explaining time. We're explaining the episode. Yeah, but Zemo blasts him in the face. Yeah. Just straight up murders him. In the him. chest. No, he shoots him in the chest. Oh, yeah, but you're yeah. right. Yeah. Shoots him. Basically, Zemo's like, okay, I got enough information. You mean there's no more super soldier serum here that you have? Cool. Blah. And just, yeah. like, gone. Yeah. There um, is a scene where, like, the guy, it's basically Buck and Sam are in there with this guy, and Sharon's out there by herself, and all basically all of the assassins in this city or country or whatever are after yeah. them, and fucking poor Sharon is and out there poor just, Sharon, she holds her just laying the smack down on fucking everybody. It was awesome. But she also doesn't hold back anymore, because she doesn't have to, like... No, she yeah, definitely she's killed, killed several of them. She definitely killed people, yeah. <coughs> well, you don't. Well, you don't have that Captain America Boy Scout behind you to. Yeah. To, you know, you can do it. You can do other shit. Do that yeah. one scene where the dude <clears throat> comes at her at a knife, and she like gets the knife. She like stabs him in the back, and like obviously kills him, and then stands up, and another dude rounds the corner, and she throws, throws it at him, and just goes through his arm. Through his forearm. Oh yeah, my it was god, that was yeah. so gnarly. <laughs> uh, yeah, that episode is cool, man. But yeah, I mean, she's definitely a a badass. Yeah. Um, it's during this point in time that uh we get to see Zemo with his purple mask on because mm-hmm. he basically like comes out of there. Uh, because someone like shoots an RPG or something at the shipping containers or they, something. Yeah, they blow it up, yeah. and they have to like run for their lives because. All the equipment's gonna like explode or something. Um, and like Zemo's running around, and like you kind of forget that in Civil War, they mentioned that he was part of like an elite military squad. Because mm-hmm. like with his mask on, like he like comes up behind dudes and is like, yeah, tactfully taking them down. Yeah, I really want to watch that episode again, actually. I, I rewatched it uh last night. It was super awesome. I should have watched it before again before we started, but yeah. Yeah, it is a fun episode. Yeah, Go watch fun. it guys. It's great. Um one thing I do want to mention cuz we see very little of Captain Fuckface and uh yeah. oh, Battle yeah. Twat. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we do see him, and they're like multiple steps behind Sam and Buck the entire time. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah! How did I forget this? Because 
Like, just because I only watched this episode once this week. Right. Yeah. Normally, I watch it a couple times, and now I'm mad at myself because... Uh, yeah, I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Sorry. they show up at, like, that internet cafe that, like, the Flag Smashers stayed at uh, in the last episode for that little bit. And they, like... Uh, John Walker and Hoskins and, like, an entire, uh, like, military squad basically raid this... It's an internet cafe. It's a business. Um, and they raid it, and the, the owner who you see in the last episode helping them is like, I don't know what you're talking about. These people aren't here. And, uh, the shitty new Captain America, Captain Fuckface... Uh, like, gets in the guy's face and is, like, throwing his weight around. And Do you know who I am? Well, before he yeah. says that, though, the dude spits in his face. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> spits in his yeah. face, and he, like, throws him, and it looks like he's about to snap and just, like, yeah. beat the shit out of him. He's like, yeah. do you know who I am? And uh, the the guy that runs the internet cafe is like, I do, and I don't care. Yep. Yeah. And then... Because nobody cares. And then Fuck Captain you, Fuckface, like, wipes the spit off his face and, like, walks away. Yeah. And then if you... Uh, this is worth mentioning because we haven't seen next week's episode, so we can't ruin anything. But there's a promo art. I sent it to you today. And it shows John Walker, which is Captain Fuckface, on his knees holding the shield. And there's blood all over the shield. Uh, so he obviously is going to fucking snap. Snap. Yeah. 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 And he's <clears throat> he's going to be a bad guy. It's it's. I yeah. think he's going to be one of those guys that toes the line. Uh, moving forward, at least I hope oh. so. Because in the comics, <clears throat> John Walker was such a hated person, and then he kind of like turned it around. But he was always that divisive. Yeah. Like he towed that moral line um, so much without having his own true code. I also do want to point this out because this is, I've been saying this since the beginning, is that in the comics Bucky is the next Captain America not Sam. Sam yeah. takes up the mantle after Bucky does. Yeah. Uh, and there's a part in this episode where Bucky says I'm going to take the shield back and I'm going to take it. Oh and, yeah, because uh, Sam doesn't want it. Yeah, and I've been saying, like, I hope to God we get to see black-suited Bucky. In the comics, Bucky wears a black-suited Captain America suit, and I would be fucking on fire if I got to see that in this yes. series. That would be and amazing. Also, but how does this episode end? With the beads. You go, because I don't remember. With the uh, the Akoya beads. Um, <clears throat> so basically, Sam, Zemo, and Bucky, they get to a safe house. Um, they're about to walk in, and Bucky's like, "You guys go ahead. I'm gonna take a walk." Oh, 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 yeah. That's and he right, like picks right. up a bead, yeah, yeah. and it looks like one of the beads from Wakanda. Yep. yep. And he kind of like follows a trail of beads, mm -hmm. and then he's like, "You guys drop something." And he's like, "I can see you can come out now." Yeah. There's yeah. one of the one of the the female soldiers, and she's like, "I'm here for Zemo," which you would recognize her from. Civil, Civil War. War, yeah. She was... Uh, She's uh, one of the entourages Black, of... She was Black Panther's dad's uh, yeah. number one. Yeah. T'Chaka. Or uh, King T'Chaka. King T'Chaka's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, general. She's the one that... Uh, what happened? Threatens uh, Black Scarlet Widow. Wi or no, yeah. Black Widow. Yeah, she's like... Move. She comes up to... Yeah, or you will like, be moved. Like, yes, dude. In... Uh, T'Challa is like, as much as I would like to watch that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yes. That girl shows up at the end of this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which means that without taking the shield from John Walker, they can get a shield. Yeah. Because it's vibranium. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm let's really just, excited for this. Let's week. just call it adamantium at this point. No, they're different. It's not. In the comics, it is? No, it's not. Sure it is. They made vibranium up for the problem between... <laughs> fuck you, sit on it. Yeah. 
but yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So that's uh, Falcon Winter Soldier. We kind of droned down a little bit, but whatever. You guys still listen to us, please. Yeah. <laughs> All right, with that being said, we're going to talk a little bit about our second sponsor of the episode, which is Raise Energy Drinks, so stay tuned for that. What's up, nerds? I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about Raise Energy, an incredible energy drink that provides max energy with zero crash. Raise Energy takes a giant leap of faith with instilling a high-quality formula to bring a powerful yet sustained energetic experience to help you push your workouts and focus to the next level. Perfect for anyone at any time and powered by their refresh formula technology, Raise Energy delivers a performance enhancing energy drink that aids in multiple different categories that include targeted focus, better recovery time, improved clean energy levels, and a boost in stamina and hydration. But most importantly, every can of Raise Energy has absolutely zero calories, zero sugar, and zero carbohydrates to give you a smarter and healthier option. So don't settle for an energy drink that contains more sugar and carbohydrates than you can count. Instead, head over to repsports.com. That's R-E-P-P-S-P-O-R-T-S dot com and use the promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout for 15% off your order. Or if you don't know what you want, go ahead and click the link that's in the description to get a $50 sample pack for free. All you do is you cover the cost of shipping. Again, make sure you use promo code NERDPODCAST at checkout to let them know that we sent you. All right, guys. Uh, I just want to make a quick note here before we uh, finish out the episode. I apologize that there is no video for this episode. Uh, This is the first time that we've done this virtually over Zoom, and I must have missed a setting or something. I was just going to record our screen uh, from our Zoom calls so that you could see us, you know, still see us, see us talking, see our reactions. And for whatever reason, I fucked up. And it is not recording our screens at I all. Mean, I mean, that that is the reason. I mean, yeah, the reason you is fucked I, up. I fucked up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's no getting past that. Um, yeah, I messed up, guys, and I apologize. Uh, we will have it fixed. Uh, and sort it out for next week. So if you like to watch us on YouTube or, you know, anything like that, you know, we'll we'll have it figured out for next week. Uh, so again, sorry guys if you like to watch us. Uh, it'll be fixed, I promise. Yeah. For, for our stalkers out there, sorry about this week. Yeah, you don't get to see how preppy Jake looks. I, I cut, for anybody now, nobody can see it, but yeah. I, not only did I cut my beard off, but I also well, cut off. not off, off. he trimmed well, it, so it's It's, it's very, clean. yeah, it's very, yeah, and I also <laughs> cut off uh, about 90% of my hair. Yeah, he got a nice haircut. He looks like he should be going to an Ivy League party. Yeah. Or a frat party. Yeah, yeah, bro. Bruh. He's going to go to the Derby. Yeah, bruh. Bruh. Yeah, bruh. Bruh. No, it's bruh. <laughs> bruh. B-R-U-H. Bruh. Well, if you're British, it's bruv. B-R-U-V. Yeah, bruv. Yeah, governor. Hey, yeah, bruv. Hello, governor. <coughs> Anyways, a uh, <laughs> little off topic, but yeah. Yeah, so Chad fucked up the video, but we'll be around yeah, for... Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> My bad. I'm only putting it on him because I don't even know how to work the video, so. You're not going to admit to, like, the hour-long FaceTime that we had before we started recording of you being like, how do I do this? <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, I will totally admit to it. I am the least tech-savvy person in the entire world. I don't he know. He could build had... the, the most beautiful furniture. Yeah. You, you bring him a couch that's been fucking destroyed because it got dropped off of the third-floor balcony. And he I'll will fix, fix it for that you. shit, make it look pristine. <laughs> but you ask him how to run a an auxiliary webcam because it's Mm-mm. higher quality than his built-in webcam on his laptop. Nope. And he's like, uh, "What do I do?" Yeah, <laughs> you plug I need it a, in. <laughs> I need a step by step fucking tutorial to fucking work anything that needs to be plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> but going forward, 
Uh, for yeah. next next week, we uh, so we'll obviously be talking about episode four of Falcon and Winter Soldier. We're also going to be talking about uh, a bunch of other stuff. There's been a bunch of trailers that have dropped recently. Uh, we want to break down multiple. Normally, we pick like two topics for an episode uh, yeah. this week because there is no movies releasing this week that are nerd worthy. Uh, we're just going to talk about a bunch of previews that dropped this uh, this week, and we'll talk about uh, episode four. Yeah, we'll we'll break down a couple of trailers for you guys, like the um, Loki trailer. The There's Loki a new trailer, trailer for Loki. Awesome. Yeah. Um, against my best wishes, we'll probably talk about the Space Jam trailer. Uh, yeah. The only reason I'm I'm also against. There's Space a Jam there's too. a lot of like nerdy Easter eggs yeah. in that trailer though. I I'm uh, not a fan of. The movie looks of, terrible. Yeah, it looks bad. I yeah. I'll still watch uh, it just for. Oh yeah. Nostalgia. But you get you get to see in the trailer. We'll we'll break it down next week. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll get we'll get there. It. We'll get there. Uh, um, but with that being said, we're also going to announce our second live stream yeah. for this month. So it's, uh, it's in like two and a half weeks, right? April 23rd, that is when the Mortal Kombat movie drops on HBO Max. So prior to the movie, we are going to do our live stream. Same thing we did for the Snyder Cut. Uh, we're going to get fucked up, talk to you guys, give away some prizes. Yeah, um, and we got, we're, some, we're, we got some bigger prizes this week. Or this we are, time. We are, we are working with a friend of mine. I need By the time we get to the live stream, I'll know the proper name of her company. But she's a small business owner, and she makes T-shirts. She is making us well. She does some t-shirts. so much more than T-shirts. She well, yeah, yeah, yeah. She but does we're getting all t-shirts. kinds of yeah. apparel. But she is doing yeah. uh, T-shirts for us. Um, yeah. Eventually, we'll have more merch through her. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just starting with a small run of T-shirts. Um, so we'll be giving away some some actual gear instead if, of uh, yeah stuff from i mean it's still from a sponsor but we'll have more all things nerd podcast related gear yeah yeah we're gonna have like goodie bags that you get at you know a fifth grade birthday party (laughs) (laughs) hey man everybody that got those prizes was happy they loved them no i'm not i'm not meaning to talk down on that at all um and everyone who who got them that I've talked to you so far have really enjoyed the energy drinks, um, mm-hmm. you know, and they like Crybaby Craig's. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I guess we can mention it. Uh, we we sent out fart bombs as well. Uh, yes. With those. So please, if you so here's you the thing: the them. idea with the fart bombs, we should put a put a note in there with it. But what what we would <coughs> like to see is if you got the fart bombs, record what you do with them and send it to our website so we can post it and yeah it'd be fucking funny yeah because because we're just kids we're big kids dude we i had to i had to double bag them <laughs> because they smelled so bad they yeah and on they, the, they on, hadn't even activated yet like, yeah and they smelled they like rotten smelled eggs it's so nasty mm. oh sorry but yeah, guys, um, we're going to do another live stream. It's going to be on the 23rd of this month. We're going to give away more shit. We're going to hopefully give away bigger shit. Uh, we're, I think uh, we're going to do a power hour again for this one. Yeah, uh, I think we, we want to do, do some other games to do this, but for right now we haven't had a ton of prep time to like figure out what we're going to do. So we'll probably just do in, another in power May, hour. We'll do, the, the next month we'll do something bigger when we're back together. Yeah. Um, either Jake Wait, is are you come out are here, you come, or yeah, and then hopefully in June I'll be able to go back to Minnesota. Yeah. Because uh, oh, we didn't even mention that yet. You guys can't tell because there's no video, but I am all set up in uh, Ohio now. Lame. Uh, <laughs> just outside of Cleveland, uh, in an awesome town called Medina. There's actually a lot of cool shit around here. There's a handful of breweries that I think that there's not, there's not. You'll you'll it's, really like when you come out here, Jake. It's all it's um, all three two beer. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It is. Yeah. 
there seems to be a lot of cool stuff out here. I've only been out here for I got here I'm, on Saturday. I'm a huge I'm a huge hater of Ohio because it took one of my best friends here and I'm not <laughs> happy about it. So I'm just gonna talk shit about Ohio until Chad moves back to Minnesota. Let's start a petition on the line here to uh, get Chad to move back to Minnesota. Hey, on both of our on on our link tree and also on our website, you can donate. Uh, so you can donate money to move me back if if you really want. So um, I wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. Um, <laughs> but if you really want me to to move back that badly uh, to all thirty of our listeners, <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> you can donate. Um, <coughs> oh, shit, sorry. <coughs> I'm going to cut all those coughs. Sorry, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, now it sounds weird if you don't keep the coughs in because... Yeah, I suppose, well, I can just, like, eliminate time. Mm, and no one mm, will know mm. because there's no video to go with it. Anyway, so April 23rd, be there or be square or, like, you know, move to Ohio or something. Uh, April 23rd, we're going to do our second live stream. And, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope we get some more of you guys out there. Like, if you guys want to, like, you know, it's a, it's also not just uh, for us, but like you guys can interact with us like live, and then we can you guys can tell us any ideas. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of requests to play like Magic and Dungeons and Dragons and shit like that. So and you know, also keep it some up like it, older throwback comic movies, like the X Men yeah. films. We that, we that we're do gonna be want diving to, in too soon. Yeah, my my cousin and her boyfriend really want us to get into the X Men movies. I am trying really hard to get my girlfriend Nicole caught up in the X Men movies. The only reason we haven't done it yet is because I don't want to ruin the movies <laughs> for her through the podcast. So I'm working on getting her caught up. Once we're caught up, then we can do that, and then we can bring guest appearances on. Uh, now that fucking Chad's out in Lameville, Ohio, uh, you know this. My big nerd room is looking real empty these days, so <laughs> I gotta fill it up with some guest appearances. Yeah, so we can we'll do that, um, and we'll we'll break that stuff down. Um, also, if there's anything that you guys want us to look into, like reach out to us. You can always email us at hello at allthingsnerdpodcast dot com. You can find us online at allthingsnerdpodcast dot com. There's links to everything on that website both where to listen links to our sponsors um links to social media there there's everything on that on that as yeah. well as links to like when we actually are live so you can watch us on like twitch youtube facebook things like that um but yeah uh i can't think of anything else at this point in time for this week um it's That's been it? a, it's been a, a crazy week with moving and getting sick and but it's been really great to to still be able to do this for you guys so yeah um, we love you guys um, and thank you so we, much for being a part of yeah the support is awesome yeah um, if you don't already please do click subscribe it helps us a ton um, if you do subscribe and you haven't rated us yet please do if you enjoy us give us a five star rating. Uh, if you don't enjoy it, uh, give us a five star rating. Give us a five star rating, and then <laughs> email us about how that five star rating was a lie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell us how we could be better. It'd be a good time. Yeah, we're all about it. Yeah, we are. Um, but with that being said, I mean, we're, thank you so much gonna, for hanging out with us. We're gonna yeah. cheers out. We're gonna cheers out, and then we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, because uh, mm. uh, this has been the All Things Nerd Podcast.